Plans to adopt the use of nuclear power in the country have previously been met with mixed reactions, with most Kenyans expressing fears over the possible impact in case of a nuclear disaster. The current events in Japan where the aftermath of last week's earthquake have precipitated fears of devastating radioactive leaks have further compounded the situation for Kenya, even as several European countries raise their alert levels. But a committee established to spearhead Kenya's leap into the nuclear age says the situation in Japan provides a unique opportunity for Kenya to learn how to best prepare for such eventualities. Uh, the incident in Japan is uh, a tragic incident. We are learning from it. Uh, it is uh, something that uh, is informing uh, where we will locate um, our plant and uh, how to deal with such incidents. Now with the country's power needs projected to stand at over 15,000 megawatts by the year 2030, the country will have to consider both conventional and unconventional modes of generating power. And increasingly, nuclear energy is looking like a viable option. If our generation in other areas that are non-nuclear uh, would grow as fast, uh, then nuclear can even do 2,000 megawatts in one go. Kenya is planning to commence producing nuclear power in the next 15 years to meet the projected growth in demand. The Ministry of Energy is already planning to assemble the necessary manpower required to run the plant over the next six years. The country will also need another four years to upgrade the capacity of its power grid to evacuate the power generated from the nuclear plant. Henry Kithaiga, Citizen Business.